What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm finally making a tutorial on how to add songs and weeks to Friday Night Pumpkin 0.3. So first things first, make sure you are on 0.3.2 and not 0.3.1. It is very important as this update fixed story mode. So go download that off of itch.io if you haven't already. Make sure, of course, if you did follow the last tutorials, to port your mod over to this new version. You shouldn't have to change anything. So, we are not actually going to be starting in the File Explorer today. We are going to press 6, or whatever you have your debug menu binded to, and go into the Chart Editor. Now here, we're going to create a new chart. We're going to call our song Dreaming. Song Artist, I'll just do me. I didn't actually make the song, but... We can choose our opponent character, we'll make that Neo. Our stage, we'll make that Awesome Town. And our starting BPM, just set this to your song's BPM. So you're going to want to drop an instrumental. I'm going to use my mod, Neo's Awesome Friday Night. It has a song called Dreaming. Then for your vocals for Boyfriend and The Enemy, I don't have separated vocals since, like I said, this is from an old mod, but it doesn't matter too much for this example. Make sure you export them differently though. All right, now this isn't much of a charting tutorial. I'll cover that soon, but for now, we're just gonna like add a couple of notes and we'll just add those to the different difficulties. You can toggle through difficulties with this. Yeah, we don't have to worry about any of this stuff. We just need to file, save chart as. Going into our test spot, we're gonna wanna go into data, songs, dreaming, or whatever you called your song, and save it there. That's it for the chart editor. Obviously, this is where you'd like to chart your song, but you don't have to worry about that. Navigate to your FN navigate to your FNFC chart file. You're gonna want to rename it. Now, if you do not see this file extend extension, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go to View Show File Name Extensions. It's a little bit different on Windows 10. But if you are on Windows 10, you can go ahead and just search up a tutorial on how to turn on file name extensions. Once you have that done, rename this and change this from FNFC to zip. Now you can go to WinRAR or your unzipper of choice. And we're going to extract here. You can use 7-zip, WinRAR, anything you want. And it'll come up with a ton of files. These are the ones we want to focus on. Take all of these, cut them, that's control X, do not delete them, and do not copy them, cut them. Now in your main folder, go into songs, new, same thing as your data chart, and now you have these in here. Going back in here, you can go ahead and change this back to FNFC, and you'll also have these extra files. This is the chart, this has all the notes and stuff, the metadata. But none of this is really too important. Now, that's cool. So, we should be able to see our song, right? Let's reload our game with F5. Oh, how weird. Our song doesn't pop up. Well, there's a reason for that. You're going to want to go into your base directory with your exe file. Go to Assets, Data, Levels, and you should see all the levels here. I am going to take tutorial.json. Go into Mods, FNF Mod Tutorial, Data, Levels, so this is your custom week. Paste it in, we'll call it Awesome, is our week name. You can call this whatever you want though. And then you have this kind of stuff to change. To the start, I'm going to go ahead and call it, I don't know, Awesome Friday Night. For your title asset, you can do anything, but we're going to go ahead and make our own. So if you go and go into Assets, Images, Story Menu, and Titles, you can see all the different week names. Let's just go into Tutorial. I'm going to open this with Paint.net. You can see this text here. Now I'm going to use this uh, font called Pa. I, I You can find like uh, this on the internet, just search up like Friday Night Funkin font or anything. And this should give you, like, generally pretty accurate text. And then I'm just gonna type out awesome. We can go into our mods directory, images, story menu, titles, 
And then we can just call this awesome or whatever you called your week. And then we can go ahead and do awesome. For the props, these are like the little characters on the menu. Uh, you can look at the older weeks to figure out uh, what they are. And you can kind of do some file diving, but it's not too important for what we're doing. You have your background color and finally your song. So we're going to set this as dream. But then you can also add like other songs on top of that. We're not going to though. We can also do vis visible as a, an extra little thing here. And we can set that to false as long as you add this little comma afterwards. This will make it not appear in story mode. But we're actually going to set that to true because we do want this to be a story mode week. But for example, if you are looking to make a free play only song, you can just make a invisible week. If we reload our game, go into story mode, you can now see our story mode week. Now you can see it looks a little weird because of the spacing with the weekend one, but uh, yeah, it's fine. We can go ahead and go into normal mode. Here's our song. We go back, we can go into free play. And here's our song. Now, as you can see, as I said, if we set this visible to false, and reload. You can no longer see the week in story mode, but if you go into free play, you can still play your song in free play. Alright, yeah, and th that is it for this tutorial. If you guys enjoy, leave a like, subscribe. I'm gonna be putting out another video soon. Uh, leave ideas in the comments for what you want to see next. I'll be working on a chart editor tutorial. Anyway, Bye, guys.